the big question, right? Does he stay in 35? I, I think the consensus now is that he wants to stay. Um, I personally would like to just see him move up. He doesn't have to fight Volk right away. He can. I think Aljo should move up. That would that weight cut's brutal. He's never really had a problem with it, but he's getting older, and I would just like to see him move up. You don't have to fight the champ right off the bat. You could get a couple top ten guys. Uh, just just get him in the mix. Give give him like a. Uh, uh. Let me see. Let me look at this division right now. Yeah, you can give him a Arnold Allen, maybe. He's coming off a loss. You can give him a Calvin Cater, top seven. Where's uh, Where's Ortega? He's number three. Oof. Okay. Yeah. We get. I mean, maybe though, like, because I, I kind of like that matchup, and he's been on the shelf a little bit. I wouldn't mind it. It's an interesting stylistic matchup between those. That's that. Uh, like, I kind of want to see something, like. You know, like, I don't necessarily want to just put him in there. I would feel bad given Arnold Allen because, like, Arnold Allen's on the come up. He's a yeah. great guy. He just took his first loss. And then to throw him someone like Aljo would just be, like, an absolute nightmare for him. Yeah. So I don't really like that for Arnold. Um, I would like to see somebody like a Calvin Cater, like uh, Ortega, somebody who's kind of, like, been fighting for their position and I mean Ortega has like a handful of losses so the fact that he's still in the top five like that that kind of to me makes sense like you get to welcome the former bantamweight champion into the weight class and and we'll see how he does like let's get his beak yeah. wet a little bit before we just go throwing him Volkanovski you know what I mean like yeah the I mean Ortega probably makes the most sense the only other name I would probably say would make sense he's top five still no he's top he's number six sorry is uh josh emmett who's been around for quite some time he's coming he's on a string of a few bad losses i mean he can be uh he can be a nice welcome for uh what's his face jeez i'm blanking on the name sterling sorry aljamain for aljo yeah that yeah I those agree. two i would say would make the most sense looking at these names right now in the top 10 um However, if I think Aljo has just come out on social media and said he wants that rematch 100%, do we give him the immediate rematch? Now, let's go back to Bantamweight, right? We're back on Bantamweight. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. There's a million number one contenders right now. There's a champion that has been reigning for years who wants a rematch. There's a guy on with the belt right now who is fresh with the belt, who is a superstar who Dana White wants to be the champion, who do you give him next? Yeah, it's tough, right? Because Aljo certainly deserves it. Like, if there is a champion, I mean, I think he's the winning most champion in the division ever. See, I'm pretty sure he's got the most title defenses consecutively. So it's like, does he deserve it? Yes. Is it something that I want to see right away? Not really. It's really not, and, and I don't know if that's just because I want to give Sugar Sean a chance at, at, and kind of like grow into his belt a little bit because I think I think if you run it back right now, Aljo plays a completely different game. He leaves in zero openings, and we probably get like a much less exciting fight 